We now welcome John Paul Ortiz. We've seen him on the show before. He's a local musician and he's here to give us an update. Welcome to Community hey, Crossroads. Thank you for having me. So John Paul, we've talked, we've covered economics, a lot of uh, yeah. serious topics. Yeah. So moving on to lighter things. Yeah, okay. You are, however, somewhat involved with our local arts economy. It's true. It's true. Yes, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm thankful to be a part of a lot of the uh, the art walks they have, and, and seeing that the, the downtown from the bottom side of the, I've done this, you know, mentioned the economic side, but more of like seeing that the city's growing and stuff from the arts and and seeing all the different things going on downtown. So it's really cool to be a part as a musician to be you know seeing all the different things the buildings that are being it's like a renaissance yeah it's it's really neat to be a part of it to see everything growing and and to be you know be able to play and and, and seeing the city grow it's pretty neat and you're john paul ortiz but mm -hmm. your artistic name is love me last because it's uh well it's also a, a partnership yes talk mm -hmm. to us about your your partner on yes it's my brother uh we started about 2006 and uh i I uh, work his rework his poems. So when I started learning about high school, I, I learned guitar. So I uh, was kind of wanting, hey, I wanted to look at your poems, and and uh, I just got inspired by wanting to re rework them into uh, songs. So that's kind of what the majority of the stuff that uh, the songwriting is, is is his. So that's kind of why I I try to shy away from just being, oh, it's just my name, which is really a duo that we work together in a lot of the artwork, especially on the new album uh, coming out and like t-shirts we do is, is his artwork. So, and that's why I like, like you said, mentioned the downtown area, seeing Art Walk and seeing, that's why it's really, uh, it, it means a lot to me because my brother does art too. So seeing uh, all the different ways that we can uh, inspire and be a part of that is really neat. Have you had young younger musicians come up to you and, and ask for advice? Um, I have had some people in the area because I guess they, they see my persistence sometimes where I'm playing like oh I see your name a lot and, and what you know how, how can I what can I do or, or just just seeing so many different kind of uh, musical genres that are being you know not allowed but uh, embraced I guess would be the word uh, in the area which is pretty neat to see you know there's reggae bands and there's uh, you know, those country bands of course uh, so you know it's just Texas <laughs> but there there is you know there's a it, opening right, yes. in music it's kind yes. of like country music is kind of like like football yes right? yeah like you, you expect it like, which is fine but it's, it's, it's yeah popular. yeah and I, that's why I love Victoria which is why I don't you, I could always you know you can mention oh there's bigger cities and there's Austin and stuff and it's, yeah it's fine but I just like that it's it's not at least for my personal thing it's not as uh, uh, overwhelming at times because mm -hmm. you can still be you know uh, hometown vibe to it which is fine if you want to go to the big city you can but you know you can bring as much of it there to here as you want to it's really it really gives you a strong sense yeah, of purpose that's, that's true yeah it's definitely and talk to us about your upcoming album you're working yes. on it mm -hmm. when can we expect the yeah release? I have a I have a single that's going to be coming out in the spring and uh, uh, that's I'm looking forward to that one and the actual album is supposed to come out in fall of this year so it should probably around October or November that's what I'm aiming for. So, yeah. And the single that's coming out is that the one you're performing? On no, the that, show? that one I, I played that one the, when you mentioned the when we had the pandemic for before oh. that. That was the single. I didn't really want to play the same song again, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm actually playing the song that I'm playing is the one that's going to be on the album. It's going to be. On yeah, the yeah. Album. yeah. So it wasn't. I haven't really played that one too much. So it's neat to kind of play. But the single was called Pinchy Pretty there, and that one's going to be uh, out. Oh, that one's. So yeah, beautiful. that one's going to be out in the in spring. Why do you love why why love songs? Uh, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the songs are when you listen to a majority of the songs, they always have some kind of element tied to that. Whether it's it's a uh, a dance song or it could be just you know anything. It has some sort of an element tied to it, and I always just feel like that's kind of attracted to me. Uh, the, the sort of styles, like yeah, I mean, it because it, it's like you can have a, a happier sound, or you can also make it like really you know, meaningful and deep, or you can just make it like you want people to dance to it, which is just fine, you know? Well, it's, we'll get to yeah. hear it just in a few minutes. Thank you so Thank you. much. And coming up, don't go anywhere. We take in a performance by Love Me Last. 